What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hey, these last few days have been pretty hectic. I've been doing a lot. I've been coming to the home after work for about an hour, yeah, about an hour or so. I'm going to update you on what's been happening, but first, subscribe to the channel if you're into DIY projects. This is the girl's closet, and as you can see, I totally forgot the painted wood uh, or with the uh, with the white finish just like this here. I totally intended to get it, but I forgot it. Um, but luckily, I had some extra wood just laying around. I'm still thinking that we're probably going to end up painting these. Okay? Now, everything is still somewhat loose, right? Um, I haven't secured that. Thinking about securing it? Maybe not. I guess we'll see. But I did get everything straight and level. Everything's good to go. Got these nice little brackets. That's pretty cool. You know, and then I even got some um, anchors, drywall anchors, right under here with the little uh, screw. So everything should be good to go. I don't think I'm going to have any issues with these closets. This is Jill's closet, and as you can see, it feels like it's a little bit higher. And that's because it is. This is five inches higher. The girl's room, I believe it's supposed to be... 65 inches high from the carpet and that's what I did. I took the measurements from where we live and it was 65 inches. So what I did is I measured everything and uh, it just, it felt like it was a little bit too short for me. Now I'm 6'3", so everything's too short for me, right? But um, after talking it over with my wife, she thought it would be a good idea to just race it up a little bit and I decided to go 70 inches. Everything is set up, everything is secured. And it looks pretty good. Real nice. That's pretty solid. This is Andrew's room. That is also 70 inches from the carpet. I think it looks pretty nice. There's a possibility that we may not even paint these things. You're not gonna be able to see them, but it kind of bugs me a little bit. I would like them for I mean I would like for them to be white, so it all depends on how much time we have. But I think it looks pretty good. Everything is leveled. We're moving along. Well, I wanted to do something a little bit different for the master bedroom. And as you can see, we've already started to bring a few things here to the home uh, for a few reasons. I want to make sure that everything fits. Now, I don't have as much clothing as my wife does, so I'm only going to need a little bit of, a, a little bit of an area, right? Um, this is all going to be mine. I got the jackets hanging down at the bottom. This is going to be for my work clothes and a few of uh, nice shirts that I may have laying around. I don't ever, hardly ever wear them. I'm always in, in my work clothes, right? So I have plenty of room. Now, you guys heard me in the past, in, in, in previous videos, we talked about how we're going to have a little safe right in here, a gun safe, right? That's ready to go. It's measured. It's about 55 inches tall, so I still have plenty of room for a little... A little cubby up here right so we're gonna be able to put some stuff up here maybe some watches maybe some jewelry we'll see right but this is kind of what we're thinking um, I was even thinking about putting together some little boxes up here still up kind of up in the air right this stuff is not cheap so we'll see one issue that I had with the closet was this sheet um, this sheet of plywood with a white finish on it, I forgot what it's called. Um, it was too short. The closet was just a little bit too big. So what I ended up doing is I put some two by fours on each end and that was perfect. Once the two by fours are uh, installed, it fits perfectly. Now, if you move it off to one side or the other, it will fall, right? So what I did is I put a couple of, I just ended up trimming a couple of these little pieces put them at the end so it, you know if it moves around it's definitely not gonna fall because this will not allow it I'm just gonna throw in throw it in at the end and it should work just fine with these I ended up putting some screws from the top down same thing at the bottom because we do have that safe and it's gonna be fairly heavy right what I decided to do is to take another piece from, from here, I ended up cutting them, right? I set it on the bottom just so that I can, so that I'm able to slide it in and out. I figured that with the carpet, it would be a little bit more challenging. 
So I decided to do that, and I think it came out pretty nice. So the little rod here in the center, it's secured right there. Right, I got a couple of the screws coming out the other side, but I mean, it doesn't really matter. Nobody's ever going to see that, right? I mean, it's only me and you guys that know that it looks like that on the inside, right? I got the little outlet because, again, there's a little light inside the uh, the safe, right? And here's the way I secured this. So I put that little piece, secured it with a couple of screws on each side. So that way this thing does not move. And again, there is a little bit of, there's a few screws from the top, right? So one there, one there. This was a little bit flimsy. It would move back and forth. So I secured it to the back. And now it's, now it's pretty sturdy. This thing is not going anywhere. If I decided in the future that I wanted to have some kind of a shelf, I could always install one uh, because I do have this little end right there. All I gotta do is just put one on this side as well and we should be good for, for the future, you know. But uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think about this whole little closet setup. Should I? install those boxes up here let me know in the comments below now one of the things that i still have to do i have to finish the tubs if you guys remember from a, a few videos ago they were looking pretty nasty right uh, they're just not in good shape there's they're chipped there's some rust showing i have to make sure that i cleaned them down and that's exactly what i did i have both of the tubs set up and ready to go i still have to wipe them down one last time before I apply what's called the, uh, the Homax uh, Tough As Tile. This is my first time using this. I really don't know how to use this. I mean, I've seen the YouTube videos, but I've never actually tried it. I know that the tub's supposed to be super clean, as clean as possible. And uh, I mean, I, I feel like I spent a lot of time on these things. Um, I had a little bit of acid that I put on it. I can still see some streaks. I don't know if that's gonna, affect it though I, I i'm hoping that it's still it'll still be okay um that's why it's super important that i wipe it down one more time i have some of this denatured alcohol the guys told me that this is the stuff that i need so i bought it it's ready to go um i also had um what's that stuff called i forgot what it's called but i was using it super harsh fumes wiped everything down got rid of pretty much everything so um, i'm hoping that this works i'm hoping that it works so now i just got to read a little bit of this figure out the best way to do it and just get it done uh -huh. okay so the fumes are really really strong when it comes to that alcohol I just wiped it down. I had to get a little bit of a breather. I decided let's install the uh, fire alarms just in case. Now I've already installed a fire alarm slash um, carbon monoxide detector and it's right over here. But now it's time to install the ones in the bedrooms. So let's go ahead and do that first. It's not making any noise. Weird. Maybe the battery's bad? All I know is that the light's going off fairly often, so I don't know what that means. Better check the instructions. Well, uh, it's not working. Obviously the light's on, but it's just, it's not, it's not going off. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take this back. I'm not gonna do it tonight. But I'll uh, take it back tomorrow and uh, hopefully I can exchange it for one that works. Okay, well, since I'm not going to be able to finish installing the fire alarms, it's getting kind of late. 
And uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and roll these, um, the tubs. I'm gonna go through them one more time with some of that cleaning solution. It's alcohol basically, right? Um, clean them real good. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and just paint them. So let's go. So I'm going to change rollers. Hopefully it works better. You see that? Oh, man. Guys, I screwed it up. I ended up using that with the roller and it just, I just, I didn't like the way the, uh, the thinner smooth roller was leaving everything on the, on the little, on the little corners. Right. I mean, it, it just doesn't look good. Right. The way it was setting it up, didn't like it. So I decided to use that smaller one and I just completely screwed it up. It is what it is. So what I'm going to do is it's already late. I'm going to go home. I'm going to regroup. I got a friend who paints. I'm even thinking about maybe buying a sprayer and just spray them. But it is what it is. I'm not going to take the time to clean it up anymore. I'm just going to leave it the way it is. I just, I don't like it though. You can see some material there. This stuff is, I mean, it's there. It's all, all over the spot. All over the inside of the tub. It's on the edges. I screwed it up. It is what it is, guys. All right, guys. Again, it's late. I already messed up. I'm going to have to go home and just think about how I'm going to be able to fix it. I may even have to remove it. I just, I don't want to deal with it tonight, you know, so... Guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. We'll get this taken care of here in the next couple of videos, I guess. But thank you guys once again, and I'll see you on the next video. Good night. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel, and follow along our DIY home renovation journey. See you on the next one.